answer to that question, why do we get fat? And okay. what should we do about it? Okay, well, I'm going to give the short answer to the why we don't get fat first. Okay. So we don't get fat because we eat too much and exercise too little. So this is not just an issue of calories in versus calories out. And somehow we just can't quite get the right balance and the excess is going in our fat tissue. So why do we get fat? Because the carbs we eat literally cause us to secrete too much insulin through a variety of mechanisms, not just the same mechanism. And if we're secreting too much insulin, then we're storing calories as fat. The insulin's locking away. It's suppressing fatty acid oxidation in the lean tissue. And the net result is you get fatter. But, and in the first six weeks to two months when people are really sticking to the low carb diet, and they're usually given advice that after two months they can start adding carbs back. While they're in what's called the induction phase, their weight is plummeting. The speed at which these things hit your bloodstream, your liver, your pancreas are going to have an effect. Even the blood sugar on your lean tissue, on your muscle cells, how quickly it's delivered, are all going to have an effect on how the body, the organs, the cells themselves respond. In my lectures, I present evidence here are, you know, poor populations, sort of third world populations with high levels of obesity, and here are poor populations with very low levels of obesity, and the ones with obesity have a lot of diabetes, and the ones without obesity have very little diabetes. So the question is, um, how do they differ? And there are two things in which they differ. First, like the Asian populations eating high, for instance, a lot of rice, high carb diets, have been doing it for thousands of years. So maybe they had time to adapt. Maybe they had their obesity and diabetes epidemics 2,000 years ago, hence Buddha, who's not a particularly lean individual, you know? Um, and then there's the sugar content. These are the two most obvious things, and the sugar content of the diet. So Southeast Asians have very low sugar consumption. Caribbean Islanders, for instance, have higher sugar consumption. They're working, you know, a lot of them have been imported as slaves or indentured servants to work on sugar plantations. So maybe that's the difference. 